If you're looking to be more minimalist and intentional with your editing projects, overlay graphics are a great way to showcase the beauty of your shot while displaying information. In today's tutorial, we're gonna marry motion graphics with video. Hey everyone, this is Jordan with Sonduck Film. If you're ready to create some great motion graphics, be sure to drop a like on this video and let's get started. All right, so here we have our basic stock image and we'll start our overlay graphic with the largest segment, which is gonna be this big angled shape layer that will cover a portion of the screen. To make this, all we need to do is go up and select the rectangle tool, make sure fill is set to solid, we'll set the color to a bright yellow, and we'll set stroke to none. Now click and drag to create a big rectangle shape, make sure it's much taller than your composition so we can rotate it, and make sure it's wide enough to cover a portion of the screen. Now press R for rotation, then increase the angle by a bit until you have this slight tilt to the object. Now position the object about a third of the way into the composition, press P for position, then set a keyframe. We'll move forward about 40 frames in the timeline. You can do this by holding down the shift key and then pressing the page down key four times, then set another keyframe. Now go back to the first keyframe, decrease the X value until the shape moves off screen, highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool, then drag both sides of the curve all the way inward to smooth out the animation. And now we have our base shape layer animated and ready for us to start adding more elements to it. Next, we're gonna create the box element that's gonna be animating in and going around our text layers. So here we have our basic text layer and we want to create a box that goes around it, so highlight the rectangle tool. We'll change the color this time to a very dark gray, then click and drag to create a box that goes around the text. Hold the control key and double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point of the box. Move the box layer underneath of the title layer, then go up to effect, distort, and select transform. In the effect controls panel, set the anchor point to be at the leftmost side of the box. Then copy and paste those values into the position adjustment. Uncheck Uniform Scale, then set a keyframe for Scale Width and Scale Height at the start of the timeline. Press the U key on the keyboard to see the keyframes on the timeline. Move forward 40 frames again with Shift plus Page Down. Set a keyframe for Scale Height and Width again, then go back to the first keyframes, set Height to 15 and Width to 0. Now highlight the keyframes. Press F9 and open the graph editor again to smooth out the animation the same way that we did last time. Lastly, highlight the keyframes for scale height, then offset them slightly by about 10 frames, and now you should have this nice two-part reveal animation for the box that's going to go around the text. If you like the graphic featured in this pack, it actually comes with our new Editor's Motion Pack. It features over 300 motion elements to help enhance your editing projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use extension, all you need to do is find a graphic you like and click apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can use our simple control layers to customize the graphic to fit your needs. And just like that, you have an awesome custom composition to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description below or visit sunduckfilm.com for more details. Next, we're going to animate our text layer and use an alpha mat to have the shape layer reveal the title as it's animating in. Start by opening up the text layer. Select Animate, Position, then select Add, Property, Opacity. Set the Y value of Position to 100, the Opacity to 0%, open the Range Selector, Advanced, and set Based On to Lines. Next, move 10 frames into the composition to the same spot that the height animation of our text box is. Set a keyframe for Start on the Range Selector, Move forward 40 frames again, and set start to 100%. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 and use the graph editor tool to smooth out the animation again. Now that the text is animated, we want to create an alpha mat, and we'll do that by duplicating our text box layer. Put the duplicate above the text layer, then set its track mat to an alpha mat. If you don't see the track mat drop down, click the toggle switches and modes button at the bottom of the screen. Now our text layer is fully animated and it's masked to our animated box layer. Next, we're going to duplicate this text element a few times to add more words to our composition. 
Highlight both box layers and the text layer. Press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Move the duplicated layers to the top of the layer list. Press P for position. Then move the duplicated layers down so that the text is underneath of the first on the composition, like this. Now duplicate the layers again, move them to the top of the layer list, and move their position to be down even further so you have three text layers stacked on top of each other like this. Since we duplicated the text boxes, they're going to keep the exact values for the transform effect that we applied to them, so we have to change them to match their new position or they're going to animate from the position of the first box. So highlight the first duplicated text box, go to the effect controls panel, set the anchor point to be on the leftmost side of this layer, then copy and paste those values into the position adjustment. Repeat this process for all of the duplicated boxes so that they animate properly from their new positions and you should be left with something that looks like this. Now we don't want all three words to be the same, so what we're going to do is select our second text layer, double click the text, and we'll change it to say motion. But now you'll notice that the text box is a bit too big, so what we'll need to do is highlight the text box layer underneath of it, press U to see the keyframes, Go to the final keyframe for scale width, then decrease it until the size matches the size of the text, and then repeat that same process with the text layer above it. Then we'll highlight the third text layer, change it to say graphics, highlight the box underneath, press U, change the scale width end value to fit the text, and repeat again for the box above. Now we have three different text layers with their own text boxes that match their size. Next, we'll add a final accent and animate one more text layer as the finishing touches for our composition. Creating the small accent graphic is easy. Just select the rectangle tool, create a tiny little rectangle at the top left of the composition, then center the anchor point with the pan behind tool. Now, press S for scale, uncheck constrain proportions, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, we'll move forward 30 frames this time, Set another keyframe, then go back to the first one and we'll set the width to 0%. Smooth out the animation of the keyframes again, just like we've been doing throughout the tutorial. Then duplicate the layer, press P for position, move the duplicate to be underneath of the first, then repeat that process again until you have three lines forming a box like this. Now open up one of the text layers we've already made. Highlight the animator that we did for it, press Ctrl C to copy it, then highlight our final text layer and press Ctrl V to paste the animation into it. Open the animator, set the position to 50 instead of 100, open the range selector, advanced, and set based on to words instead of lines. Now this text will animate in word by word from the bottom of the screen. Now our entire composition is completed and the final step is to offset all of the layers to lengthen our animation and make it look more interesting. When I'm creating a composition like this, I like to animate everything from the start of the timeline to keep things organized, but as you can see, everything animates in at the exact same time which we don't want to happen. So what we'll do is we'll go up the list of our elements and offset them on the timeline so that they come in at different points in the animation. So we'll leave our main shape layer at the start of the composition, then we'll highlight our first text box, move that forward 5 frames in the timeline, highlight the second box, move that 5 more frames, then highlight the third text box and move that forward another 5 frames. We'll repeat that again with our final text layer and our little accent graphic as well, then, we'll offset each rectangle of the accent graphic as well, but just by a few frames so it has this nice staggered animation. And now our overlay graphic composition is completed and fully animated, ready to put over any piece of footage you want. Now that you can marry motion graphics with photos or videos, you can keep your audience more engaged while getting your point across faster. Speaking of which, if you're looking to save time, we have 100 templates you can download for After Effects and Premiere for free. The links will be in the description below. If you enjoy the content in this video, be sure to subscribe. We post two tutorials every week. And remember, always be creating.